All right. So we'll start with just 6-6 six, six to dash, and then 8 to neutral jump. Yeah, just like that. If you do it a little bit too quickly, you'll get a forward jump instead. It's not the worst, but it's not what we want. You want to practice getting what you want. You'll find early on when you're playing fighting games, a lot of times, you will settle for, well, that wasn't the thing I wanted, but the thing I got didn't kill me, so that's okay. Maybe it even worked out, maybe it was a happy accident, and that's fine. But you want to get good, good you want to get better at doing at executing according to your intention, right? So yeah, just six six eight. Six six eight. Six six eight. Well one bane, if you wanted to raise your hand in chat, you could do that too. I will accept a wave of some sort. Oh, see, that's what happens. If you mess up just a little bit, you end up careening all over the screen. You don't want that. You want just this nice little hop. Okay. Now make sure the dummy is set to no block. And we're just going to do our B and B. Just going to do 5K close S 2D. Back dash. 5K close S 2D. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to try and space the 5k so you're hitting oh, hitting it about the tip. If you're not careful, you'll end up getting 6k instead. And that's, in general, see like that, that's generally not what Chip wants. You want to be careful. If you want to be extra careful, you can actually hold back, right? So you can run, and then when you're getting ready to press 5k, just hold back. Just like that. Oops. A little far away, you'll get different attacks. It's okay, but it's not what we want. Take, just take them left to right. Do some laps. Go ahead. Just chill out. Listen to my voice. I actually listened to, to one of my stream archives the last time I did this. So I listened to it a little bit later and I was like, man, I wish someone else would do this for me. <laughs> so if you want to run your own guided training mode drills with whatever character you want, go ahead and do that shit. I can link you the playlist, you can find your own, and then I can play along with you. It sounds like a lot of fun. That's right, just take him left to right. We're taking, taking soul coast to coast. You don't, you don't want to be too excited or too uh, frenetic. I know playing Guilty Gear, especially, it took me years of playing Guilty Gear before I stopped completely freaking out the moment I played, like, a tournament match. And some of that is tournament experience. Oh no, proximity is. <laughs> some of that is tournament experience, but some of that is also just specific Guilty Gear experience. If you don't know what your opponent's character can do, or what they want to do at any given range or situation, then it becomes very easy to panic, right? You're like, oh shit, I don't know what's gonna happen next. So I better make something happen. And, as a, and once you get to be a more advanced player and a more experienced player, you stop doing that. Then you can wa you can wait for the other person to basically hang themselves and do a bunch of dumb st stuff. You see this especially on net play, right? Net play just plays a little bit different. And if you came up mostly playing net play, you might not be very good at playing like a game that's more reactive. You might not be able to win as easy in neutral because you're used to just doing the things you want to do, right? Netplay chips use teleport and alpha blade way too much because they can get away with it. I did that when it was netplay chip and I had to unlearn a lot of it. All right, so we're gonna do one more lap of just the B and B, and then we're gonna add the uh, the faultless defense cancel Oki to it. If you don't know what that is, it's okay. We'll go through it real quick. But yeah, right now we're just kicking Soul in the dick, stabbing him in the stomach, and then just chirping him. It's okay. He's a gear. He can take it. All right, now. We're gonna do, so you you remember the 668 we just did. And what you wanna do is at the apex of your jump, you wanna hit uh, one that's down back and then roll your fingers across kick and slash, like that. And what this does is it cancels the J2K into faultless defense, which basically kills your momentum but leaves you free to act. It's pretty handy. Even now, if you if you don't do a neutral jump, if you do a four jump, you'll still get some of the momentum killed, but it's not as good. So you want to do a neutral jump if you can. That just practice that. What up, soft jellyfish? What up, Casper88? It's so good to see you too. We're just chilling out and doing some training mode drills. Ain't no thing. 
feel free to join us. We're just getting started. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that. So this is called the Faultless Defense Cancel, and it's useful for Oki. What I've learned. We're gonna take the BMB we just did, it's 5K close S 2D, and after the 2D, you're gonna wait just a little bit. So what you do is you hold down back in the air, and then you press 1K, right? And that's gonna give you the J2K, and you hold that there, right? You hold the one and you hold the K, and then you just press slash right after. You gotta do it quick, so it looks like that. You can look at my hands if you want, and get some good reference there. You don't get it it's okay it takes practice it took me a long time to get the hang of it you have all the time in the world baby guilty gear ain't going anywhere okay so now what you're gonna do is you do this combo just like that do i usually put a jump p before the fdc for timing after a knockdown i do not bears does that a lot i know i think some of it might do it too they are a little bit more specific with their timing than I am. I know, I think doing that lets you space a little bit more accurately. It's just not a habit I ever picked up. There you go. So you want to land right on top of him, come down with JH, then do 5K into 2D. We're just going to do it again, take him back and forth. Yep. How do you choose when to go left or right? Well, the, the answer is sometimes you don't. Sometimes I don't know what side I'm going to land on. That's OK. I don't need to know what side I'm going to land on. Um, but if you really want to cross up, then you just don't do the faultless defense cancel and just jump over like that. You can choose, you just don't get to choose with the FDC. You choose by not doing the FDC. And the thing is that if you look at the jump, the, the time, the difference between the, the FDC and the uh, just landing, uh, it's not really reactable, as far as I can tell anyway. So yeah, just take it back and forth. Yeah, so you can choose a little bit, right? Because the thing is that you're not hitting the 2D at the same range each time, which means that the range, you know, depending on when you start running to, to jump and all that stuff, you can change. Yeah, you, you can do super jump. Um, I think it's, let's see. It's, I think it's less likely to be meaty. But the nice thing is that then uh, they're kind of off the screen a little more because the super jump scrolls the camera up, so it's a little hard to see. But you want this to be meaty, because if it's not meaty, if the opponent can jump, then they can air throw you. You don't want that. Okay, we'll do, we'll do one more lap. Back and forth. When you hit the JH, you might hit once, you might hit twice. It's nice to be able to control those. All right. So now we're going to do something. Again, if you haven't done this before, if this is your first or second time in the uh, the guided warm-ups and you might not have done this before, that's okay. But if you have done it before, this will be familiar. We're going to do our mid-screen jump install combo. So what that is, uh, eventually we'll take it after the JH. But for now, we're just going to hit it raw. You're going to do uh, close S. Up, down, H, just like that, right? And the up, down is a jump install. The thing that jump install does is uh, it lets you keep your air options after you teleport. So normally when you do an, a teleport that puts you in the air, um, uh, you can't air dash afterwards. But if you jump install, you can. And if you jump install off a, a regular jump instead of a super jump, then you get to do your double, your double and triple jump afterwards. So what we're gonna do is close S, up, 
And then before you jump from the up, uh, you're gonna press 2H, that's down heavy. And then you're gonna press 2H again to get a teleport. It's gonna look like this. And if you did it right, then you can jump afterwards. What up, Daphonix? Feel free to join us if you like. We're still pretty early. So just practice, oop, just practice, <laughs> just practice this first. Make sure you get your air options. And once that's feeling good, we'll do the rest of the combo. Flyrant asks, I also see bears go for a backward air dash to delay the overhead after the FTC. Is that just another layer to the mix-up? So the air dash is what you do if you think they're gonna blitz. Blitz typically beats both, uh, since blitz doesn't care if you're hitting on the left side or the right, blitz is a really good option to deal with chips FTC. But blitz doesn't last for that long, especially if they're doing the tap blitz, right? So the air dash actually adds enough delay that you can catch them um, after the blitz is over. Also, if they backdash, like Johnny often likes to backdash away from Chip's teleport. Um, or if you're not meaty, what up, Tenon Daddy? If you're not meaty on the JH, you can backdash away. Um, but the, the air dash will catch them. Okay, so if you got the jump install, it's great. If you don't, you can keep working on it. But if you got the jump install, what we're gonna do next is after you do teleport, you're gonna do punch, slash, jump cancel, slash, jump cancel, slash, hard slash, into 623S. It's gonna look like this. Oh, a little quick on that. This works differently on different characters and timings. There, I delayed the punch a little bit to let soul rise. It's kind of tricky, but yeah, you'll get the hang of it. I'm just gonna do this combo. You can do it off a slash teleport or a hard slash teleport, whatever you want. Just go for it. A lot of mid-screen damage, it's real good. Look at all that damage. You need 5H instead of 2H. Oh man, that's tricky. Is that because you're pressing up? Uh, are, are you still pressing up when you then press down and so you get, that's why you get a simultaneous input? That's funny. Okay, just go ahead, keep practicing this combo a little bit longer. It's a good combo to have in your pocket. Look at all that meterless damage. Chip is very much a character where if you grind the, uh, the, the situational combos and the high-end execution, you can get a lot of damage without having to spend meter for it. It's pretty good. Yeah, jump install on stick takes a little, a little, a little practice. It ends up being more of a, a timing thing than an execution thing for me. The, the, the tricky part for me with jump install these days is mostly just getting in the habit of doing it even if it's not in the combo. That's like the next level for me. What up, Execool? Good to see you. All right, so now if you're feeling good with that combo, then you can go ahead and uh, we're gonna integrate it into the everything else we're doing, right? So you're gonna start with the B and B, FDC, and then when you land, you're gonna hit the combo. Oh, missed it there. That's good, Casper. That's excellent. I'm glad it's useful. Again, B and B, F oh, <laughs> B and B, FDC. Ooh, a little too far there. It's okay. We'll reset. BNB. There we go. Oh, a little late. That's why I practiced this whole string together. Soft jellyfish, you ain't gotta take notes. You should just play with us, man. <laughs> These videos are all on YouTube, so you can look back on it whenever you want. You got a whole playlist. You want to change the combo a little bit to make sure it doesn't drop, that's fine. Hey, thanks for the link, Growl Man. Look at all that damage. Oh, you're at work now? It's okay. Put your boss on the line. I'll tell him it's all right. Ooh. Is Chip's 5K jump cancelable? Yeah, you can check yourself, but no, it, it is not. Oh, yeah. 
need to change the timing a little bit on Soul. We'll probably only keep two of the JSs. Make it a little more consistent. Ooh. Oh, do we need to jump cancel straight into JH? We might. Oh no. Damn. I, I, it's a good thing I'm practicing this. I really need to work on my consistency. Also forego the DP and stick to the wall. Uh, it depends. Depends on where you are. Yes, the move needs to be cancelable if you want to jump and in, jump install it. Otherwise, you won't get the jump to install. There we go. The nice thing about the DP, so one is if we do if we do it in the corner and you want the wall stick, you're gonna have to alpha blade through. Which we'll do later. 5k jump. Oh, it is jump cancelable. Holy shit. Why is this thing jump cancelable? That's funny. Well, I learned something new today. Yeah, so the thing about the faultless defense cancel is that it doesn't change your vertical velocity, just your horizontal. Right? So if you are a. Uh, if you're still on your way up, then you're just gonna have more time at the same location, so it's a little easier for them to see. That's why I like to fall as defense cancel at the apex of the jump. That's not bad. All right. So now, actually, I'll, I'll bring this up right now. So mid-screen, this is a perfectly good jump install combo. Right, that's what we're doing pretty good but in the corner you can actually get a little extra juice instead of doing the whole triple jump sequence we're gonna do this right here it's the same start you're actually gonna use the H teleport and it's gonna look kind of funky but you're gonna hit it and yeah fly right so instead of hitting the rest of the JS's you're gonna hit uh, punch and slash like you did before jump cancel up forward and then uh, just dust in JD into 236P for Alpha Blade. You hold the P to wall cling, and then you, then you press P again to, uh, to, to Alpha Blade again. Yeah, look at that. It's pretty cool, right? Hell yeah, one bin, that's what's up. So why are we doing this in the corner? Well, we get a lot of damage, but also we can continue hitting them after the Alpha Blade the wall alpha blade. Now this stuff is kind of tricky. So again, it's okay if you can't get it. What's important is that you know that it works and you're trying to practice it. Check it out. I might mess this up. Oh, almost. Well, the idea is we're gonna dash after them, after the wall alpha, and pick them up, yeah, with slash and hard slash. That's right. And then if you remember the IED combos that we've been doing, oops, if you pick them up just right, and it's not easy, but if you pick them up just right, oh, you can hit the 5H, IED, JK, JD for even more damage. Uh, the JD is, oh, almost missed it, almost hit it. If you're talking about this JD, it's, not, it's neither. It's a jump cancel uh, into JD. There we go. Oh, yeah, look at that good damage. Yeah, it's JP, JS, jump cancel, JD. See, now that there's extra damage. Yeah, I know. I get it. Oh, a little late, on, or a little early on the JK, so I missed it. We got to practice that. Yeah, and then afterwards, you can hit it another string you can just otg them to push them even closer to the corner you can take them from one side to the other it's great oh okay too early on the jk this is good to know Woo. not cool oh yeah the air dash is a little time before you're allowed to attack out of it Oh, almost. 
there's a lot of fun stuff you can do off this wall alpha, but it's very tricky. Hmm, that was an OTG, not quite what we want, but it's okay. That's why we practice this stuff. One bin asked a really good question. He said, "What's the what makes me choose between doing the ju jump and salt route versus uh, the corner rest show alpha in, in this right, like this kind of stuff?" And here's the thing: that full jump and stall combo, like check out how much damage this does. You hit the whole thing. That is a grip, right? If I get rest show in the alpha alpha. Look at that it's not as much damage right it's pretty good damage but if i start let's say i start off a 2k right 2k prorates the damage pretty significantly what up graffiti so actually if we turn on the numbers real quick y'all can see let's see display settings damage info there we go so the ji combo looks like this oh not even Full thing. No, not quite. One eighty one. If I start a combo off two K, let's get the let's get the uncling alpha. We'll make it a good one. That's ninety, right? Even if I start off close S, one thirty six. Right? Guilty Gear characters have 420 hit points, right? Now this is obviously, un it's not heavily scaled because Guts isn't on yet, blah, 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 blah. But you can see the, da the damage shifts, right? Meterless, there's still like a good, what is that, 55 damage? And we haven't even actually gotten all the way into this stuff, right? And if you're starting off at 2K, because you went low, for example, right? 90, that's, that's pretty big. So the thing about the corner rest show alpha stuff, right? All this stuff here, all the wall cling mix-ups, exactly. You're choosing between damage and a mix. If you want to keep someone in the blender, then you probably want to use rest show into the alpha, into the cling stuff, right? Especially if you got a pretty weak starter, or if they just have a lot of health and you want to you want to grind them down a little bit, right? But once you're ready, to, once you, when, if you land the big hit, then you're gonna want to cash out, which is why you want to be able to do all this stuff, right? Let's say if I went for the the uh, jump install combo, oops, off a of 2K. Let's see, let's see what kind of damage we get. Let's see. One sixteen. It's a pretty big difference, right? So uh, a lot of your decisions in Guilty Gear as you get better are dependent on how you started your combo, right? And how how big the payoff is for damage, right? If the risk is cranked, right? Damage is gonna scale, is gonna, damage scaling is gonna kick on even later. So if you got a juicy starter like JH, and risk is cranked, oh boy. They got it coming, right? But if you started off 2K and you got no risk, or maybe two 2Ks, you don't wanna take the damage because you're not gonna get that much, right? But it's a good question. It's worth asking. So now you've got, we, we've done a bunch of different stuff, right? You've got a, you've got your mid-screen jump install combo for damage. You've got your mid-screen Oki. You've got some corner Oki, right? Remember we did the uncling alpha blade before. You also have the bay blade mix-ups here. Right? You got your, uh, you got the, 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 the cling dash down stuff, right? And we're gonna put it all together. So if you've been playing with all the all the kind of guided sessions so far, then you've already seen most of this stuff and you should be, you've been working on it, right? But the idea is, so at first we isolate, 
right? We find one thing that we want to work on, whether it's faultless defense canceling or BMBs or whatever, and you just grind the reps, right? But when you're playing an actual person in a match, you're not going to play like that, right? You're not going to go for FTC Ogi 60 times in a row before moving on to the next thing. It's not how, it, it just won't work. Instead, you got to learn to practice these things kind of in concert with each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a loop that helps us practice all of these things in order to get closer to the way that you would actually do this in a match, right? So what we're gonna do is, you're gonna start mid-screen with the B and B, get the knockdown, go to your faultless defense Oki, uh, or your faultless defense cancel Oki, land the JH into the jump install. Uh, you don't get how to uncling an air dash. Don't worry about it for now. Um, there, we covered that in the previous video, so if you wanna go watch that, you can. Uh, so we're going to do B, the B and B in defaultless defense cross up Oki. You're going to hit the jump install combo mid screen, right? After that, we'll go ahead and, uh, we'll keep, we'll actually, we'll keep on doing that until they get to the corner. And then once they get in the corner, we're going to go ahead and hit our, um, the, the alpha blade uncling alpha blade combo, right? Uh, and then at the end of that, you're going to do two, two H to get another J H and you're going to do your corner jump install combo, the whole thing. Right at JD, you're gonna get the knockdown, then we're gonna do it all over again. So it's gonna look like this. So that's the JI combo. Oh, we got him in the corner. Okay. B and B. Alpha Alpha. Corner JI. Oh. Ah. That's not actually a great setup for that FDC Oki, but it's fine. We're just practicing. And again. Ooh, missed it. That's okay. Oh, we're in the corner. Fine, we'll go straight for the JI this time. Ooh. Messed it up. Go ahead and do it again. Alpha Alpha 2-2-H, two, two, corner J-I. Go ahead and let Soul recover. And he's got his health back, do it all over again. Oh, got him to the corner a little early, that's okay. Woo! Oh, wrong one. <laughs> but yeah, you want to see, see how individually I can nail okay right not the most consistent but we're working on it but once you start putting it together you're, you're gonna see all kinds of seams and this is the kind of practice that makes it easier to hit in, in a tournament get him into the corner oh I'm gonna go for that uncling alpha again oh missed it gotta get it there we go that JP rock a little longer. Yeah, you just want to get in that get into the habit. Oh, move my hands over too much. Ended up getting far S. It's weird. I just started doing that today. Into the corner. Go for the alpha alpha. Fly rant, there is. The easiest way to do it is to press down forward for your first teleport input on the 2-2-H. Um, there's also different ways to get, uh, to hit the uncling alpha blade to change your distance. But that shit is hard and we're not gonna worry about that right now. It, it basically depends on how far you are away from them. If you if you are past a certain range, if you're basically close to full screen with the, uh, and you'd go for an H teleport, then uh, you will not cross them up. And the alpha blade puts you at about that range. But if you get a little closer, or if they get a little closer, can't let soul die. Now. Uh, 
uh, then you will cross them up or not. know how all of these work, now you just gotta put them together. Ooh. The more consistent you can get with this stuff, the more consistent you can win almost like entire rounds like this. Look at this. Look at the kind of damage we're doing. We're just beating up Soul right now. And we're not even spending any meter. So you can if you want. You see, you'll have plenty of meter once that one, that that loop is over. You go ahead and just do like a a, a knife mix up or something. Just fucking kill. Yeah, get those da get that damage. Oh, there we go. Yeah, delayed the JP a little bit. Worked out. Because here's the thing, right? Learning all the combos and setups is good. What up, Judson? But you need—you also need to learn how to integrate that stuff together. You need to get to flow from one position to another. And you can't do that if you're just practicing the same thing. For the corner JI route, would STP work as well as H? Uh, they work a little bit differently. There is some finicky, finick to it. Um, sometimes you'll find the S teleport might push you away a little bit too far. So I personally like the H, but here, we'll go S. Oh, fuck. We'll try S. Yeah, that still works. Finish my my alpha blade action. Ooh, too early. Just, just run a couple more loops. The better you get at this, at first. Even, actually, not even at first. You can see me dropping a whole bunch of stuff, right? But the goal is to be able to complete an entire loop without messing up once. And then once you've done that, then see if you can complete two loops in a row without messing up once. And so on, and so on. Ooh. What up, Imgul? Absolutely. Fighting games should be calming. You're teaching your body how to do new things. You don't gotta be, you don't gotta be all stressed and panicky about it. Shit's fun. Get him in the corner. Get those combos, baby. What up, Sorensen? Good to see you. Oh. Still messing that one up. We'll have to figure it out. Labbers, we're going to run some, some lobbies in a little bit. The way we've been running the stream is that we start out with a guided warm-up so that folks can play along. Ooh, almost. Oh, yeah, the cross-up on the JH can mess, around, can mess up your, uh, your combo sometimes. Sorensen, I'm doing my best to spread the good word, baby. You gotta build your Gundam tonight? That sounds like a fine use of time. If you... Ooh. So we're gonna let you live today. Who is my favorite character lore-wise? Uh, I mean, honestly, I fucking love Chip, man. He's a cool guy. President. Irene says he's extremely on brand for me. I'm not going to ask her what that means. 
Chips is doing his best to help out. Oh, Sorensen, we got a playlist. It's on YouTube. But if you got your own playlist, that's okay too. Yeah, of course. What up, Pepsi? We don't have a lobby yet. Glad to see you're back, though. We'll get that lobby up in a little bit. Hey, thanks for the sub, homie. So good to see you. How's the Captain Tsubasa going? Woo, oh no, we did it. <sighs> yeah, take just take a second to sip your drink. <sighs> All right. Just gonna do a couple more laps. I feel you, man. My hair is feeling powerful. Everyone else worried about what kind of whack hair they're gonna end up with after, you know, during quarantine because they can't get their hair cut. Yeah, I'm just chilling. I wouldn't have gotten a haircut anyway. Sky. Good to see you. Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. Almost. Hey, Execool, thank you so much for the two months, homie. Appreciate your support. That's right, we vibing out here. on the JP there. Bedman's a lot of fun. Mm, a little late there. Yeah, I switched out my stick, my Hayabusa lever for a Samwa a long time ago. I think it's almost two years ago at this point. Definitely don't miss it. Hey, what up, Mo? Good to see you. Mmm. I did miss that cancel. Finish this with kick super. Hey. And that's it, y'all. You just learned and practiced a whole bunch of new chip stuff. Maybe not new chip stuff if you've been playing along. Go ahead and shake it off a little bit. Stretch those wrists. What's up, scuba door? <laughs> ah, shake it out, shake your neck. Maybe stand up and stretch if you're sitting down. Oh yeah. We did it, baby. We got that workout in. Remember, you don't get good at the stuff without practicing. You gotta practice. And so if you're gonna practice, you might as well practice together.